Hey everybody, it's Kleina, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4. This is our very special edition part, because today uh, Wes and Zoe are going to get married. So I already had um, Owen go ahead and call in and take a vacation day from school, um, because everyone slept in pretty late except for him. He was up at the normal time. And so now I'm just having Wes uh, have some breakfast, and then he's going to call in for a vacation day. Uh, Zoe got promoted last night when she got home at that ungodly hour of 1 o'clock. But yeah, she got promoted to a head dishwasher. So now she has today and tomorrow off, so thank goodness we didn't plan Thursday to be the day that they would get married, because that would be bad. So... Anyway, so she still has today off, and she is just resting up because she got home so late, and she's going to have to pee and eat. Our beautiful bride has so many things to do, and I'm going to get them, um, I think what Owen has as formal wear is just fine for the wedding. That looks really nice and everything already, but I will have Zoe and Wes wear something a little bit nicer than what they already have set as their formal wear. Um, so I will just do that on screen if you guys don't mind, which I have no idea if you mind or not because I'm recording this before you see it. So that's what we're going to do. Buckle in for the ride because that's what I've decided. So, but it will just be one outfit and it'll be quick. So it won't be like watching a whole cast, you know, in slow motion or in normal motion, which feels like slow motion. So anyway, yeah, just getting them set up for that. And then I'm going to get them married. I'm pretty excited. I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to put it. Okay. If I go crazy, this is why. I'm in the middle of my sentence talking about how cute Zoe and Wes are. And then Lena's like, hey, a circus. Hey, you want to go to the park? Hey, you want to check out some underground club? It's like, no. Lena, I want to get married today. And FYI, she's not invited. I tried not to be rude. I tried to be her friend. I still want Wes to be and Lena to be friends. But there's no way she's coming to our wedding. After all the drama that's happened, every time Zoe and Lena are in the room, mm -mm, not happening. Also, is this not, just like side note, is this not like a gorgeous fence for the backyard? Who lives here? Nobody. That is a beautiful house. I wonder if we could ever afford to move in there. I doubt it. But anyway, I mean, we our fence is nice, but that is like gorgeous. I really like that fence. Anyway, so let's go ahead and we'll just have, um, we'll have Wes uh, change appearance. That's what it is. And then we'll just go ahead and change um, Zoe's while we're in there because you can just select her even though she's still sleeping away. Uh, and he is uncomfortable because the food was crappy and he hit his finger like usual. But he made something pretty cool. I'll have to show you guys afterwards what it is. It's like a giant lumberjack sculpture or something like that. It's called like large or giant. So we'll have to see what it looks like. And we might start selling uh, Owen stuff, you know, before he can open up a store. That's kind of the only way we could get enough simoleons if we possibly can to open up his own store. So, all right. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so for her formal, let's see what she already has on. See, that's really pretty and nice. I'm kind of worried about, like, if I don't change this and I make, like, a second outfit that's a wedding outfit, she'll accidentally wear this. So I'm just going to change her formal entirely, and I'll come back to this after the wedding. So I want her to wear, like, something wedding-ish, but maybe not pure white. But it's kind of hard to find anything that doesn't look kind of Mm, that's kind of pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. She's getting married. Mm. Holy moly. Can you believe it? There are some really gorgeous gowns up here. This one, I would like it better, but it reminds me of Let It Go, Let It Go. You know, Elsa E. A little too Elsa E for my taste. Um, There's a bunch of new ones from City Living. This one is beautiful, but it doesn't really look like a wedding dress. This one is gorgeous as well. I love this one. I would love to have this in real life. Like, look at it in black with that detail. Oh, yes, it's gorgeous. <laughs> She's not feeling it. She's like, it's okay, I guess. But again, see, none of these are, that's def that's like a Star Wars looking thing. None of these are really wedding dresses. First off, let's do her hair, because it's like hanging down, and I want it up. 
we'll do that first. I really like this cute little, this one. I wonder, I wish there were like hats where it was like a tiara. That would be awesome. Oh, we are set for the wedding. You know, there's like hats and towels and everything else, but like no tiaras, which would be really cute. Okay, so let's decide on the style. I didn't want to make this too long, but I'm making it too long. This one or this one? I think this one looks better on her, but I don't like the color. Let's try it in black. But black looks like she's mourning something. Does that look okay? We could do it in pink, actually. That's kind of gorgeous. Because then it's like, you know, she's... I mean, she might be a virgin, but I doubt it at her age. <laughs> but then, you know, it's nice and tasteful. That's pretty, too. Let's do it in pink. Her shoes, you can't see them, so we'll just leave them as those. Um, oh, girl, watch your back. Ooh. I think her uh, makeup does need to be changed a little bit. That lipstick is gorgeous, but I don't think it goes with this. It's that really dark shade. I think she needs something a little bit more ne either neutral or pinky. See, but that might be too close. Fredache? Huh? Um, is that too matchy? I guess not. Let's see what this one looks like. Well, I can't see you, girl. Yumbala? Uh, let's do that one. Well, yeah, let's do this one. I don't think it's too matchy matchy. I think it looks nice. All right, let's get you some cute earrings, girl. I don't want just formal. I want all kinds of earrings. I don't understand how they decide what's formal and not formal with like jewelry and stuff. It doesn't. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Those are pretty. Ooh, these would be really nice. I do like these a lot. Yes. Oh my gosh, you look gorgeous. <laughs> I'm so emotional. Should I do that one or that one? This one has to be gold. Ooh, are the, those are pretty. Mm -hmm. And then maybe she, she could have the gold earrings. Is there like a gold option? Oh, it'd be awesome if there was a golden pink option, but there's not. Wait, a golden purple. No, that's too far off. A golden blue, golden black, golden green, no. Gold and white. Oh, you look so pretty. Okay, take off that bracelet. That bracelet goes super cute with what you're normally wearing, but not with this today. And let's put on your wedding ring, girl. Oh god, I'm so emotional. I don't want to make it pink, that seems a little cheapy. Let's just make it a normal diamond. Yeah, normal gold diamond. Okay, here's our bride! In all her glory! Yay! Okay, let's get our room ready. Yes, yeah, smart. In his jam jams, mm. perfect. Okay, see that does not look great for a wedding. I knew he had kind of a weird, like it's a nice formal, but it was kind of gonna be weird if he wore it to his wedding. So let's see, she's wearing pink. Should he wear white or gray? I think gray and pink would be cute. Let's do that. He has so much less work. His shoes look great. He has nothing else he has to wear. Awesome! Yay! Okay. So I think what I'll do next is I'll get the backyard set up. You know, set up as I'm throwing arch out there because we're too poor to do anything else. And then I will go ahead and come back to you guys when I'm quote unquote planning the event. Which if you've never played The Sims 4 like, and done an event, you might think like, oh, I can plan it for like the future and all this stuff will be set up. No, when they say like plan event, it's like it's going to happen as soon as you press the check mark. So <laughs> I'll go ahead and do that and come back to you guys when we're ready to start the wedding. Okay, I'm back. I had to... No, you've already showered. I'm sorry. What is going on? Um, <laughs> I had to sell Zoe's bar as well as every single woodworking thing that uh, Owen has made so far to be able to pay $1,000 for a wedding because why the heck do you have to pay money for these weddings and like for these events? That doesn't really seem to make any sense to me. I mean, I have a beautiful, lovely place set up, you know, with the minuscule amount of money that we did have but then we had 15 simoleons left because i you know chose like four pieces of furniture 
I just don't know how anyone does this without the cheat code. It's so hard without extra money. All right, now let's go ahead and we have our bride and our groom. And I had Zoe do it because she knew the most people. Although it doesn't look like, I uh, maybe it's because she doesn't know Alessandro. It looks like she can't invite Alessandro. So we're gonna invite these random people. Uh, we know Yolanda and we kind of know Gavin. So we'll invite them. I know it's kind of like, I wish they had closer friends that they like absolutely wanted to be there. But I mean, Wes isn't super close to anyone that he works with, except for like maybe Miley and that's just cause she's a creeper. So, you know, and I guess Alessandro can't be there, which I was hoping he would be, but I guess he's not. So, uh, no caterer, mixologist or musician. We're just going to get married and people can handle themselves because we're poor. So get used to it, I guess. Okay. And this is where we're getting married. You see the little arch? Yay. We need a cake and a wedding arch. Do we have to have a cake? Okay. We have to have a cake. I'm going to have... Wes over here cook us a cake, which makes no sense. Shouldn't he bake a cake? Let's do a white cake. So we'll have him make the cake and then you'll go over and get married. I know, I'm sorry. It's kind of a janky-ish wedding. We're just really poor and I want it to be nice, but you can only do so much, right? Oh wow, look, he got into a different tux. Does she get into a different outfit too? I wanted her to be in a wedding, out a wedding outfit. You. Uh, change up it. I hope she doesn't change. I picked this one out because I thought it was pretty. He's like in an actual tux tux. Darn it, I hope I didn't spend all that time doing that for nothing. Okay. Wow, look at that. Miko? Is that how you say it? She's here. He's the first one to come here. Hi! Here, let's turn on some music in the... Uh, Wes's room to make it seem like we're not super poor, even though we kind of are. <laughs> oh, yay, and Yolanda came. I tell you what, The Sims 4, I mean, like, The Sims 1 definitely has the best, like, music, like, build music and, you know, buy mode music, but The Sims 4 has bumpin' radio music. Like, it is pretty awesome. Do, do, do. Don't you think? Do you guys agree with me or disagree? It sounds more like, like especially the pop and rock, it sounds more like mainstream radio music. Sometimes it is like music you know, but they have to change the words, which is interesting to make them sound simlish. So, okay, let's throw a wedding topper on here. Oh my god. <laughs> I am going to lose my mind. I kind of want to get rid of this. Sorry, you're just going to have to see this on screen. I kind of want to get rid of this because it's expensive and he never uses it. <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't know what else to do. I mean, we'll sell everything that we use for the wedding, but you still have to have it for the wedding. Okay, so go ahead and add the wedding toppers. Nobody eats it. And let's look at their cute little cake. Ah, isn't that sweet? He's like, I'm really gonna do this. I'm about to get married. Okay, don't think about it too much. You might get cold feet. Hey, you're gonna be old and die soon anyway, right? That's the way to think about anything. Anyway, here's where the wedding's gonna be. I thought it was cute. It was pink. Get fantasize about wedding, that's adorable. So I'm going to do get married to Zoe. And I think, I don't know if she can change her last name. I usually, when I marry them, there's not an option to change her last name. But I bet if I change Sim, I could change her last name, the option in the year. But I don't know if I want her to. I mean, I'm going to hyphenate my name. Maybe I'll have her do that. Patel Swanson. That's kind of nice. Do you guys like this? Is it cute on a budget? These were expensive. These were like $400 each. Because I wanted something else nice. So... Yay! Okay, wait, stop! Where's your son? Stop woodworking! Go watch your father get married. Aww. I guess this is like uh, the state that Goosh and I live in where you can just officiate yourselves. You don't actually technically need someone to sign your marriage license. Aw, there it is. There they come. Oh, I'm glad so many people showed up. Oh, 
Ryan's gonna cry! I can't handle it, it's so cute! Yay! And they have fireworks that shoot out of their heads. I guess that's kind of funny. Yay! Congratulations! Where the heck did your son get? He went to go woodwork and he wasn't even in his nice clothes. Oh my gosh, this child. You need to go congratulate your father. If you can. Sometimes I'm like, shouldn't there be, yep, there it is. Shouldn't there be an option to like congratulate or something, you know? Yay! Congratulations! Don't insult her, you jerk. Ask about being old. Congratulations, I'm so glad you're my new stepmom. How does it feel to be ancient? <laughs> Remember when Lena talked about that, your birthday party, and almost stole my dad away from me? Wasn't that great? Man, that is a bumpin' stereo. I can get it from all the way over here. Ooh, I think I know what that is. A glow fruit tree. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I didn't know that, actually. I thought it was one of those secret hidden places. Have you guys heard of those? There's a couple of those where, like, if you talk to a tree in one of the neighborhoods, it'll take you to a secret grove. And apparently there's a couple other ones. So I was thinking maybe that's what that is. I kind of want him to go for this. He's already not hanging out with his father at his own wedding, so what the heck. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy! Kiss your wifey poo. Yeah, I'm glad she wore the right dress. <laughs> Sometimes I still can't get that stuff right, you know? I've been playing Sims since I was like... Avenue Smishy. Seven? Eight? Like, I've been playing The Sims for a long time, and sometimes I still can't figure out, like, why the heck certain stuff isn't popping up right. Or why sometimes they'll be in one thing, and then other times they won't. Like, oh, look, they wore the right dress, and for this wedding they did. He harvests the glow fruit. A tasty treat, a great fertilizer, and a superb ingredient. Awesome. I've never seen that before. Have you guys seen that? not there's something new throw it in the fridge before it goes bad okay so let's go ahead and i thought she was eating her cake i was about to lose my mind let's go ahead and just did like delete one of these <laughs> sell back one of these plants so we can have a spot for the cake these pillars are cool i found these they're in if you look in surfaces they're under other i didn't even know there were pillar options i feel like i'm still discovering so much stuff Well, we're the ones that take the first slice. Can she do it? Oh, good. Come on! Ugh, this is what I'm talking about. Like, why is it not working right now? You know? Can you not? Can you do it on the floor? That guy does not look happy. No. Ugh. Up. Are you saying we're not even going to be able to eat this cake because I clicked on it or something? Like, why is it not popping up? You mm. ah, must wait for the newlyweds to take the first slice. How the heck am I supposed to take the first slice? Uh -huh. Ugh. Okay, stop talking. I think you have to go make us another cake. I never said this was going to be a great wedding, okay? I never I never said that this would be a fantastic wedding or that everything would go right. This might be a train wreck. I mean, because when you're this poor, it kind of has to be a train wreck sometimes. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, even though I've played The Sims so much. So go ahead, and I guess I'll have someone else just clean that up. So can you clean up your first wedding cake and please stop using the freaking woodworking table? Oh my gosh, it's like everyone and their mother wants to use the woodworking table constantly. It's like, we're getting married. I mean, I don't know we don't have much room. We have a dirty counter, but I cleaned so much for you guys. There's like way too many people. My house is beyond capacity. But the last thing that we really need is, you know, for you guys to just keep using the woodworking table. 
on our way. Can we take the first slice now? No. Couldn't even excellent quality. Well, that's too dang bad. Just put it like, yeah, okay. Add a wedding topper. Now can we take the first slice? Thank no, you, cut wedding cake. All right. That turned out jankier than expected, you know, as normal, but now everyone else can have a piece of cake. Does anyone actually have those noisemakers? <laughs> Especially for a wedding. Oh, craziness. Okay. Oh, that was adorable. Did you guys see that? They fed it to each other in their dirty kitchen. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's kind of hard to play The Sims without a money cheat sometimes. Like, there's things that pop up and I'm like, how do you do this? Like, I don't have any money. Like, I literally have money right now because I had to sell the bar. But the minute she, you know, needs a bartending skill again i'm gonna have to buy the bar and then i'm gonna have no money to do anything else it's a constant like loop i don't understand how you can ever get ahead because like wes like keeps moving forward in his career but we still have no money ever it's not like oh now i have a better salary so now we can put some money away for savings always struggling <sighs> that's just a little rant but this is good this is good for me to do this because it's really fun i'm really enjoying this let's play I'm feeling really connected to the characters. I hope you, like, feel the same way. Um, you know, I hope you feel like Zoe and Wes and Owen aren't just, like, the normal, you know, whatever sims that are bland and boring to watch. I hope you like watching Wes steal stuff and watching Owen, you know, as his creativity grows and everything. So, anyway, I'm just feeling a little mushy because of the wind. So, thank you guys so much for watching this super special part, and I will see you in the next part, and who knows what adventures lie ahead for the Swanson family. Thanks again for watching, guys.